What's up guys, John here with Rise Magic. We know you guys love learning new things. So today we got another car shoot troubleshooting. It could be magic troubleshooting too because this move, the top shot, can be used in a lot of different ways. You can use it as a flourish. You can use it to reveal a cool card and a magic trick. You can use it for a lot of things. So let's let's go ahead and pop into tutorial right now. And you might be wondering, Chandler, there's, there's text missing from the display. Why is that? Well, Unless you've been living under a rock, you know we've been live streaming every Monday and Thursday, and we give away a ton of decks, not just Rise playing cards on those streams. We've been shipping them worldwide, I think over 25 countries at this point. So if you haven't already, be sure to tune into our live streams right here on YouTube. We're going live tonight at 8 p.m. for Rise Game Night, and on Mondays we just do a hangout session with you guys at 7 p.m. In fact, I'm behind on some of the giveaways, so let's ship some out right now. I promise we're gonna get into the tutorial right after this, but I just wanna show you guys real quick. We got someone who won the giveaway. I'm not gonna dox them and show their personal information, but bam, we get the shipping quotes right up here. Then bam, we get the label. I got a thermal label printer over here, okay? Bam, watch this. Hit the print button. Oh my goodness. Hit print. Bam, look at this. <laughs> Directly there. Oh, tear right off. We got their address right here. Won't show it, won't show it, but check this out. We take the envelope, bam. Pop this open, get a deck of Rise playing cards. This guy won Rise playing cards right in here. Take a nice Rise sticker. We have black ones, we have white ones. I just mix it up, whatever what I want in there. Right in there. Peel the seal. Flip it closed. Now, this is the best part. That thermal label printer, which is a phenomenal tax write-off. Because it's actually good for business, right? That's not tax fraud. Take their label. Put it right on there, drop it off, prepay the shipping station, and the deck will be right there. Let's learn Top Shot. By the way, in case any of you are concerned, not a big cut, but I did slice my finger open at the gym, bleeding a lot, but thankfully, I can still do this move. So there's really two parts to it. As with any move that's an aerial like this, there's the throw, where you actually get to pop off the deck, and the catch. We're gonna go over these separately, and you're gonna have to learn the throw first, and then once you get the throw down, Catching it is a whole different ordeal. As you can see when we do it, as the card comes flying off like this, wow, it happens to be me. As the card comes flying off, it's gonna actually spin a little bit and you're gonna catch it face up. If you guys haven't seen, a few weeks back, I made a pinky count tutorial on this channel. And in that, you're required to take the deck out of mechanics grip and put it in sort of like this grip. I won't go over the pinky count right now, obviously, but you bring your pinky up here to do the count. This has a very, very similar grip to the pinky count. The way I do the pinky count, the middle finger does nothing. The deck is mainly held between my pointer and thumb, and it's my ring and pinky that actually make the toss happen. Primarily the pinky. You should really be only using the pinky to toss it off, but it's weird when you try it out, and I've seen how other people do this, the ring finger kind of like is a support thing. So what makes the card actually throw is when you're using your pinky right up here, you're gonna put it on this bottom corner, you're gonna pull it off. Now, when you're first learning this, it's gonna be difficult to pull off just one card. That's when kind of like the pinky count grip comes into play, and you're gonna kind of bevel the deck with your pointer finger. So, when you push with your pointer finger this direction, you'll see that the cards kind of bevel and that is how you would do an exaggerated pinky count, right? In this case, the reason why you bevel the deck a little bit by pushing down and out with this pointer finger is so that it's easier to just grab one card. As you can see, that's one card. Now the key here also to only releasing one card when you shoot is having a very, very tight grip on the deck. The tighter your grip on the deck is, the easier it is to only get one card to pop off. See that? So if we're going over this throw from the top, thumb and pointer grip this hard. Your middle, it could be over here depending on your hand size. Mine does nothing. Remember, this is a tight grip. You can see the pressure that I'm applying. And what this does is it gives it a bevel and makes it easier to strip off one card. Now when you're stripping off one card, this is the knackiest part of the top shot. It's also very important this pinky is pulling down. You're pulling this card down off the deck, not out. So if you can see right here, that would be like my pinky going out. 
what I'm doing is I'm getting that one card and pulling down with my pinky. And that's what makes the throw actually happen, is the card gets turned over like this and spins into your other hand. So the card actually has to turn over for this to work. So tight grip, pinky comes here and pulls down, 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 down. Keep in mind, right now, we're not even focusing on catching it. Right now, I just want you guys to focus on getting the right grip and being able to shoot these cards off. See how that's actually flying off the deck? Tight grip, one card, pulled down. Now this pull down and shot has to be done quick in order for it to actually shoot, okay? So that's kind of like the motion. It's kind of a motion where you just bring it up and shoot it out. So now that you know how to get the throw down, Let's get to catching it, all right? So when you catch it, you would think that you would want your hand here, directly parallel, across from the deck. But no, if you've noticed when the card shoots, it kind of shoots at this direction, right here. So in order to get it to come across to your hand, you want it to be at this tilt here, because the card's gonna be shooting this direction. Like I said, this direction. So instead of just shooting it towards yourself, you wanna be shooting it across yourself so this tilt happens right here. So when you do it like we saw, the card's gonna flip over and spin out. I'd assume that when you practice this hundreds and hundreds of times, you're gonna get a nice middle ground where you know the card's speed, and that's when catching it comes into play. I feel like I'm teaching you guys basic hand-eye coordination here, but we don't all have that. I, for one, playing basketball when I was six foot six and 15 years old, I lacked a lot of coordination because my brain didn't know how long my limbs were yet. We had to grow that coordination so we could learn how to shoot three-pointers and dunk on people and bust up your hands in the rim, okay? you got to learn coordination sometimes. We're going to break it down. You're going to want to squeeze that hand pretty much exactly when this happens if you want to catch that card. Or you're going to look like a fool just having it bounce. I was trying not to catch it there, guys. Having it just bounce. I was trying not to catch it there. But you're just, it'll, it'll just end up bouncing off your hand if you don't squeeze at the right time. It looks coolest if, you know, some people like snap and then do the, the top shot. And that looks really cool because it looks coordinated. I can't really do backdrop with this bandage hand, but yeah. you get the point. So yeah, guys, once you get that catch down, that's all you need to know. We'll go from the top, all right? Deck in the hand, thumb on the side, pointer on the top right. Your other hands are gonna be there supporting. Grip tight with your thumb and pointer. Push with your pointer a little bit. One thing I may have forgot to say at the beginning was that you don't want your pointer finger to be too high up on the deck since it is folding over that. You kinda want it to be lower, I would say, with like a little under a centimeter. You'll see how much mine's going over and that will cause a good flip and spin, okay? So once you have it in that position, you bow it over a little bit. Your middle doesn't really have to do anything. You could use it as support if you want. Your ring and pinky come over here and you're gonna pull off one card and pull down. You point the deck this direction to have the card shoot into your hand. When that's all said and done, and seriously guys, I cannot stress enough, this takes a long time to learn. You're gonna have to sit there in your room just shooting it over and over and over and over before you can get it down where you can just but that's top shot if you guys have any questions and it's not working for you i would say first work on it for at least two or three days before asking me because my answer is going to be just keep trying but after that if you got any questions for me you can dm me on instagram or just leave a comment down here and i'll try and get back to you as soon as possible or you could stop in the stream tonight and i can answer you live hope you guys enjoy that move and I'll see you some other time. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that tutorial slash troubleshooting on the top shot move. It's a really fun one, but like I said in the tutorial, it's very knacky. In order to get it down right, you're just gonna have to try and try and try and try many, many times, and you will get it right, trust me. And also, in case you missed it at the beginning, tonight, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, myself, Grant, Big T and others will be out there playing video games. I don't even know what games we're gonna play yet. We could play Call of Duty, we could play Fortnite, we could play Among Us, we could play Clue, Lego Star Wars, I don't know, I don't know what. Just 
drop us a comment down below and let us know. And let us know what other tutorials you want to see on Rise Magic. But for now, this is Jeff Henry, and I'll see you next week. Peace out.